we look at why things are located where they are. Geographic information science is really the study of, of the spatial aspects of human and natural phenomena. And underneath, underlying that are the technologies such as geographic information systems, remote sensing, image processing, GPS, and all the other kind of tools that are oriented to gathering geographically referenced data. One of the projects that we're working on currently is mapping broadband availability for North Carolina. And it's part of the federal broadband mapping initiative. And so the idea is that everybody should have access to broadband for educational reasons, economic reasons. It, it sort of levels the playing field, including rural areas, which tend to lack um, access to broadband. Mathematics comes in where we have to develop mathematical models for those predictions. So these equations represent those behaviors with the radio wave as they interact with the natural man-made features. And the macro model, the purpose of that is to predict broadband availability, make a map of those. And then we have a model of the natural features on the Earth's surface, elevation for example, uh, topography, the man-made features such as buildings. We can recreate three-dimensional images of the buildings based on the data that we get. So the next step is once you have a map of broadband access for the entire state, what do you do with it? And one of the things is, is to increase adoption rates. When you look at the areas that have broadband, but aren't adopting for some reason. And so you create educational programs and you can use GIS to identify those areas, whether it be, um, you can look at GIS uh, and broadband availability in, in relation to education, income, or any other sorts, um, social demographic variables, you know, such as census data that comes into play. And you can draw out reasons why, is it, is it income? Is it education? Is it just the fact that they're unaware that they have broadband availability in their location? Uh, you have to be able to dream, and dream in a childlike manner. It's not, it's maybe not ignorance, but it's sort of this naive idea that you can do anything. And um, not that I can do anything, but <laughs> I'm just, just saying that that mentality it takes um, to, to do that types, those types of things because you get really got to expand upon what's been done and, and think in a way that is impactful and meaningful. And, and so some of those ideas are, are really out there. And anybody that does research in general has to be able to sort of think in that way and, and, and be able to accept the idea that you're going to be told no more than once. <laughs> and that one time you're told yes is, is, is well worth all those times you were told no.